Hey there, are you ready for our next riveting experience? Well, buckle up, the fun and excitement is about to begin. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by, really, really appreciate it. Um, today I'm going to, you know, here in the Pacific Northwest, it's the rainy season started, it's cold, it's wet, it's rainy. It's hard to develop the ambition to go out on the water. So um, today I think I'm going to paint up some lures. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And this is one of my favorite patterns. It's one of the patterns I use the most. Uh, I call it um, a uh, creek chub. And uh, here's some reference material. That's a, the creek chub that I, I'm bit, I tried to emulate a little bit there. Um, so that's the guy I was trying to make happen. But one of the things that you see on... Uh, young juvenile fish an awful lot is a uh, a dark line that runs down the side of the fish. So I put that in there. I, I know it's really exciting for everybody to put a black dot because of shad, but we don't have a ton of shad in the waters I fish. So um, that seemed pointless to me, but that dark line is on, you know, baby bass, certainly on creek chubs, quite a bit of, uh, of the trash fish have that dark line. Um, it's juveniles. So I just thought that that was a good thing to have on a lure, and it's been quite uh, quite effective. I catch a lot of fish on this particular pattern. Um, I usually have four or five of these guys painted up already, but I've lost two or three of them, and you can see this one. I seem to have lost half the bill. <laughs> they hit the camera. <laughs> the camera's fine. I don't know how, but it smashed the hell out of the bill on this guy, so... <clears throat> He's gone. You can see I got quite a bit of work out of him here. It's uh, got quite a bit of hook rash on there. Um, so definitely time to paint up some more of these. So I'm going to do two more of these square bills. Uh, I'm going to do a jerk bait, um, another jerk bait. Uh, I'm going to do a walking top water. I haven't painted any of these yet. So first pattern on that. And then of course, like I said, the square bills. So that's what today's video is going to be about, um, is painting up and how to paint that right there. And it's a pretty simple pattern. Um, and I'll go through it in full detail here in just a moment. So, uh, airbrush I'm using is, uh, the Iowata Eclipse HPCS. Uh, I just found that a lot, a lot of people recommended this on any of the, the forums or Facebook. A lot of people recommended this airbrush and since i bought it i've been very very pleased with it it's very very nice uh uh airbrush seems to have the right amount of detail for this kind of work so very very pleased with that so then the paints that i'm going to be using is um i use uh, metallic white it's semi-translucent which i kind of like um and then i'm going to use a, a translucent transparent yellow and then for the shoulder areas this area up in here, I'm gonna be using this purple and that purple was something that I mixed up using transparent red, transparent blue, and uh, I don't know, I don't know, something else in there. Just you, basically you have to work to uh, get a color that you like. And that comes out a lot warmer color blue than it looks on the um, from the mixture. It's It looks really purple, but it doesn't spray that way. It comes out more of a blue color. And then um, for the for the absolute back, I use a dark brown. And in that dark brown, you can see I, I put in some gold. That just gives it a little bit of shimmer on the dark color. And one of the things that my art teacher back in junior high told me is there is almost absolutely nothing in nature that is completely black. But everybody seems to like putting black um, on their lures, but I just simply don't like that. So dark brown with a little bit of gold in it. And uh, that's what I use for the for the back. All right, so let's get painting. All right, first color we're gonna start with, and generally speaking, uh, I should start with, and when painting lures, you're gonna wanna generally work from light to dark. Uh, there are some exceptions to that, but generally speaking, you wanna start with your lightest colors and work towards your darkest colors. Um, so we're going to start with uh, metallic white, uh, thin this down a little bit, and I spray, I like it a little thicker than most people, so I spray between 40 and 45 PSI. Um, I don't know what that is in metric, sorry. Um, and uh, I like to... I like to be able to see some of the stuff that's going on inside there. I think that that uh, uh, should be appealing to the fish because fish 
you know, bait fish tend to be a bit translucent. So uh, I'm not gonna be very heavy handed with this. I'm just trying to give it a, a white feel on the, on the belly here. And I will give it a, a light coating on, you know, all over, all sides of it here. And you can see when it's uh, backlit a little bit, um, oops, a little heavy handed there. Uh, when it's backlit a little bit, you can definitely see those, uh, those weights rattling around in there. All right, I'm gonna go through and paint the rest of these and <clears throat> I'll get back to you on the next color. All right, next color we're gonna use is the transparent Createx. Um, this is bright yellow. Um, you can also, if you're into the UV thing, you can use the uh, fluorescent colors. I'm, I'm fine with this. I have the fluorescent color, I just don't use it. Um, and I'm gonna paint this on and it's gonna look a little bit uh, brighter than you would expect when you see the final product, but, um, yeah, here it is. So you can see here, it's, it sort of has a yellowish tint to it. Um, and it's, so it's going to be a lot brighter than that. And I'll show you the secret sauce that I put on there that makes it look more like a flesh tone here. So first things first, let's go ahead and put some yellow down here and I'm going to spray it at an angle, like, uh, downward so that I don't get yellow on the belly. I'm basically just going to be putting it on the, the side of the bait here and you can see that's pretty bright yellow um, and that's kind of what I'm looking for is that color right there and then we're going to do the same thing on this side and try to get them to match as best you can from side to side next Yeah, it's pretty bright yellow. That's what we're looking for. Okay, I'll do the rest of them and we'll get back to you. All right, so the color I left off of the intro, I, a couple of colors I left off, but this is one of them. Um, I use uh, this uh, pearl silver to knock down that, that yellow. I make it look a little bit more like a, a really warm flesh tone. Um, and I'll show you the before and after on this. So basically I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna be spraying directly over that yellow. And I, I do it in this step because I don't want the purple when I spray over it. I don't want the purple blue to be turning more of a green color. Um, I want it to have two sort of distinct colors. Um, so uh, I always put the silver on next. And I'm just spraying this uh, on the side of the, of the uh, yellow and making sure that I, I cover up all of that, that yellow with a little, little bit of silver. And you know, this is a personal preference on, on your part, you know, how much, how yellow you want those baits to be. Um, so you can see, this is what the, the unit looks like before I put silver on it and what it looks like after the silver is on it. So it just, it just dulls that yellow down and you're, you're essentially layering the, the paint to get that color that you want. So that's what we're after. So let's spray the next one here. And I don't worry too much about getting this uh, on the on the belly because the silver over the metallic white is almost indistinguishable. You'd have to spray it uh, several coats to get the belly to look silverish beyond what, what you normally get from the pearl white. Okay, and then the last thing I wanna point out is if you're doing something like this guy right here, which is, um, he, you can see he's got foil in there and you're looking for that flash. Uh, you want to be really light handed with both the yellow and the silver. And I don't even know if I need the silver on there, but I'm going to put a slight coat on there. And that should help preserve the flash that's in there. 
All right, so I am going to use this uh, purple color that I mixed up. You can see uh, it looks quite purpley in there, but when I spray it on the on the units themselves, it doesn't come out that way. Um, so I'm just going to be I'm just spraying straight down on the on the uh, top of the bait basically, and I'm letting it bleed over into the area on the shoulders. And again, personal preference on how much color you want on there. And you might have noticed that these guys came out with a nice yellowish warm flesh tone. And uh, to get that, I, I did spray a second coat of silver to get it exactly the color I wanted. Again, preference. So uh, let's put some purple on this guy. And if you like it really purple, you can dry that and uh, spray another coat. Okay, next color is another mixed color. This is the dark brown I talked about. It's kind of a, if you mix orange and green together with a little bit of gold and, you know, feather it with some purple, you'll get a, a brown grumpy color like that. So uh, a little black as well. Um, so that's what I typically use on all of my spines on my lures. All right, so let's just do, make sure we can spray a little bit here. All right, we're gonna color the spine a nice dark color here. And I am literally spraying straight down on this. And you can see, well, I hope you can see that the color on that is a, uh, is a brownish color with a little bit of gold hints to it. And one of the things that um, uh, I've seen on the Facebook is people like to paint the face of their lures a dark color, and I think I like that too. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of shot in the front there. And that's basically the base coat of of the lure. And we're gonna go through and do the rest of these guys now. Okay, so um, you'll note on this guy here that we're trying to uh, duplicate, I got a lateral line that runs across the, uh, the, the bait and I put that in by hand with a brush. And um, it just requires a little patience and a little practice. You can become good at it. Um, I add a little bit of moisture water to the, uh, to the same color that I use on the spine. And the, most of these lures, well that one doesn't, this lure has a, a lateral line built into the texturing on the lure. And uh, I ignore that, <laughs> just, so, just so you know. Um, and I just basically, I'm gonna, you know, stipple in that line. And it doesn't need to meet, right? It can, it can just be sort of a random color, a random pattern. That's all there is to it. Now, I will often dry these things off in between. One of the things I want to point out on these on these lures is that um, when you buy prefab prefabricated lures, they come with a with the texture of the scales on there. Which, for my money, not having to uh, do a, a scale pattern in the paint process makes life a whole lot easier. Now you could put scales over the top of that, but I think that's perfectly w detailed enough. And I, I think that um, any fish about to bite that's gonna recognize that that's a scale pattern. So uh, I'm thrilled with those guys. Well, this guy does have a lateral line right in here, which again, I'm going to ignore. 
And kind of what I'm looking to do here is right between um, where the transition between the, the warm color and the purple is, that's kind of where I want my line to be. Um, it's not all that critical, just that you put a line in there. Again, like I said, this is going to mimic a lot of different species, and certainly one of the species that's in your lake is going to have a lateral line in its juvenile state. Uh, I should say a pronounced lateral line. Okay, now you can see there's some gaps in there. I like that. That's the way I like it. So, on the other side. And yeah, it probably should be in about the same position. So I try to mimic both sides the same. All right, so the last uh, special sauce that I have is, the last special sauce I have is this Dragonfly Glaze. And it's impossible to read what this thing says on the front because it's so active. But it's 44384 and it's called Blue Green Gold Shift. And I generally put this on a lot of the lures that I that I make. I have multiple colors of this Dragonfly Shift. Um, and I do put it on a lot of my lures. And it's totally optional, but it does give you um, that sort of additional glitter. And a bait fish is going to be bright on the bottom because it's trying to blend in with the surface brightness. Uh, so fish coming up from below have a di more difficult time targeting them. And on the top, they tend to be as dull and dark as they can be to avoid predators from above trying to get them. So, you know, they're relatively uh, uh, well adapted to their environment to keep from getting eaten. So I'm going to put this glitter here just on the just on the area below that lateral line. And I just paint it on. And it dries, um, you know, it looks white going on, but it dries perfectly clear. And I don't have to worry about brush strokes or anything. You don't see any of that after you put the clear coat on. Uh, so this is just a little bit of uh, extra zip on the sides here. And you can put it on the bottom as well. And uh, that gives your, your lures just that little extra bit of, uh, of uh, sparkle. Now, I probably won't put these on the ones that have foil in them because they got foil in them. It's not really necessary. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, this pattern and, and how we made it. So... Um, you'll notice that the one that I'm copying had sort of a bluish green color here. I think that's because I put the purple on this one before I put the silver on. So changing that, um, that order in which you paint things can affect the way the, the outcome comes up. But generally speaking, I think that they're a pretty close match. Um, I actually like this coloration a little bit better, the, the purple slash warm yellow body. And I think you can see the sparkles from the, the dragon glaze on there. I hope you can. And uh, yeah, I think that they, uh, they turned out pretty well. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And of course, you know, like, subscribe, all that gobbledygook. Thank you much. I appreciate your time. Here we are, popping on the eyes. Uh, I always put a little dab of super glue behind each eye just to hold it in place. Uh, so make sure I don't drop anything while we're clear coating. And that will be the next step is to clear coat them, which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> and here's a, here's the full fleet, ready to fish with. Just give you an idea of what they look like with all the hooks and ready to go. And that's all we got for you for today. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping by the channel and uh, have a great day.